Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's again a joy even to meet you through the short time of meditation. Even today, let's meditate from the book of Lamentations. You know, Lamentations is nothing but a lament of Prophet Jeremiah. You know, he, is, he himself is called as a weeping prophet or a prophet who laments. You know, when he looked at the when he looked at the condition of the nations around him, when he looked at the nation condition of the very nation that he was living in, of Judah, of Samaria, of Israel, he kept on lamenting, though he was primarily a prophet to Judah. His laments were so great that the Holy Spirit of God dedicated a particular book to him. It's to to the to the person itself, saying that okay, you have lamented so much that I'm going to that I'm going to give you a book right about your lamentation. So in this book, uh, in every chapter, there are there is a lot of laments where he weeps, where he cries, and at one point of time in the New Testament, uh, even people compared Jesus to Jeremiah because of the way Jesus was weeping for. For his people where he was crying in loud with loud uh, praying with loud cries for the people of God when we look at the third chapter I know uh, I'm sure that you know what verse that I'm going to that we are going to meditate today when I say chapter 3 of Lamentations uh, there, there, from the beginning of this chapter 3 in the book of Lamentations here is a prophet who talks about his condition uh, for example when you look at verse 17 he says my soul has been rejected from peace I have forgotten happiness today many people live in such such a state where they say, I have forgotten happiness. I have forgotten how to smile. I have never smiled. You know, it's been a long time since I had a good laugh, since I could really enjoy something. People go through a lot of trauma. And then he says in verse 16, he says, my teeth is broken. I'm covered with ashes. And uh, verse 15, he says, I am filled with bitterness. And he goes on to say so many things. And then he goes on to say in verse 18, my strength has perished. And then in verse 19, he looks up to God and he says, remember my affliction. It is in this context, when he was going through such a trauma, when he was going through such pain in his life, in verse 21, he begins this words. He says, but in spite of all the trouble that I've gone through, in spite of every trauma that I've gone through, in spite of all the pain that I've gone through, but I recall this to my mind, therefore I have hope. I have I'm recalling a specific thing to my mind, therefore I still have hope. Dearly beloved, we might be going through hell, but there is something that we need to recall which will give us hope in spite of the hell that is happening around us. And what is that hope? That is what it stated in verse 22. It says, the, Lord, the Lord's kindness indeed never ceases. His compassions never fail. What do I recall? The love of God never ceases. They never run out. They never get dried up. It lasts forever. His compassions never fail. You know, men show compassion depending upon the mood. Now, I, I have heard of a joke where a teacher, when he corrects the paper, if he's in a very good mood, you know, he gives you extra marks. He doesn't care of the minute or minor mistakes that we make. But if that same teacher is in a very bad mood because of something that happened uh, on the way to his work, maybe in the traffic or maybe at his home, maybe because he had some kind of quarrel with his wife or some kind of uh, disruption in his family, when he sits up with the answer papers, with the exam papers, because of his mad, bad mood, that mood influences the marks. Now, this is just an example. But the good mood, with the good mood, he gives good, he, he gives good marks. Now, see, he leaves the he leaves a minor minor mistakes. He leaves it off. You know that's the same thing even with the with the men of this world, with the with the bosses of this world. When they are in a good mood, they treat their employees in a very good way. But when they are in a bad mood, it is altogether a different style. And this, but but when we think of God, the Bible says His compassions they never fail. They are His love never ceases. How awesome it is! Now, when we, when we compare our life, when we compare men to God, when we compare the leadership of this world to the leadership of God, how unique and how different it is. What a vast difference. 
you know men's compassion men's love depend on their personal moods but god's love his steadfast love the steadfast love of the lord never ceases there is a beautiful chorus on this one line the steadfast love of the lord never ceases his mercy is never come to an end dearly beloved whatever it might be today i want to give you a hope you might be going through hell you might be going through pain you might be going through hopelessness but as his prophet in spite of everything negative that was happening he writes he says but this i recall to my mind therefore i have hope what is that the steadfast love of the lord the love of god never ceases his mercies never come to an end his compassions they never fail and the next verse it says they are new every morning great is that faithfulness dearly beloved you and i have a hope and what is that his compassions never fail his love never comes to an end may this be your strength may this be your hope may this be your inspiration may god bless you and guide you amen amen